recent trends in retail banking. We all know Indian retail banking is progressively growing and still showing trends of further growth. The rural market uprising is a recent phenomena which has immense growth potential. While private sector banks have dominance in metropolitan areas, nationalized banks have their hold in the urban and semi-urban areas. The rural areas are dominated by regional rural banks. In this lesson, we will explain the role of retail banks in solving the tax-related matters. State the meaning, significance and role of 24-hour banking. Explain the meaning of dematerialization and report the role of mutual funds in the Indian retail banking. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss the banking cash transaction tax. Explain the service tax on finance services. Discuss 24 hours banking. Explain the dematerialization and mutual funds. This is levied by banks on the amount of cash withdrawn beyond a specified amount each day from operative accounts like current and cash credit accounts. BCTT is applicable for withdrawals made out from NRO, NRE or FCNRB deposit accounts. The retail banks help the government to provide statistics for tax imposition and help customers to manage with their tax issues. In the following sections, you will study about it. A new chapter 7 has been inserted which extends to whole of India except Jammu and Kashmir with effective 1605. The objective is to bring the cash transactions within the monitoring range of CBDT. As per the chapter, a tax of 0.1% to be rounded off to rupees 1 shall be levied. Cash withdrawal from single account of cash credit, current demand loan, term loan, etc. But other than saving bank and on encashment of one or more term deposits. The tax collected shall be paid by 15th of the next month in which the tax is collected. In case the due date is holiday, the tax is to be paid to government on the next day. A person who is outside India but withdraws from an account in India will pay BCTT. But a person in India but withdraws from an account outside India will not pay BCTT. BCTT is not applicable to withdrawals made by a bank from its account maintained with another bank or any other bank to bank transactions. On the pretext of curbing cash transactions and encouraging check transactions, it provides a source of revenue to the government. Cash withdrawals from savings account are exempted. Service tax becomes a major source of revenue for the government and in the coming years its volume will certainly increase. Regarding service tax on finance services, following provisions have been made. Legal provisions, rate banking service, SENVAT credit, e-payment of service tax, returns and penalty, issue of pay order, demand draft, check, letter of credit and bill of exchange, providing bank guarantee, overdraft facility, bill discounting facility, safe deposit lockers, safe vaults, operation of bank accounts. Banking companies and FIs need not collect any service tax on services provided to state government and central government in relation to collection of any duties or taxes. The assessee can adjust the SENVAT credit against the amount of service tax payable on value of taxable output services. Every person liable to pay tax shall make an application for registration within 30 days from the date on which levy of service tax is brought into force. Corporate assessee to pay service tax on the value of taxable service received during any calendar month by 5th of the next month. Electronic payment of service tax has become mandatory for certain service tax assessees from October 1. In case of failure to file the return within time, penalty not exceeding rupees 1000 can be levied. Every person failed to credit the tax shall pay simple interest at the rate of 
and every person failed to pay tax shall be levied penalty of rupees 100 per day. Banking services offered to units set up in special economic zone have been exempted from paying service tax as per the clarification given by Central Board of Excise and Customs, CBEC. 24-hour banking is a self-service banking extending beyond normal banking hours by obtaining cash, making deposits and transferring money between accounts at automated teller machines. The development of shared ATM networks both nationally and internationally in the 1980s has made it possible for a consumer to perform at least some routine banking functions anywhere in the country and to some extent on an international scale. Almost all banks in India now provide 24 hours banking services. The customer can shop and transfer his funds anytime with his own convenience, just with few clicks or through phone banking. Dematerialization is a process that moves away from the use of physical documentation in order to maintain financial records. The request for dematerialization has to come from the person in whose name the shares are, along with the share certificates. In order to dematerialize, the owner, after completing the necessary formalities, hands over the securities to a depository participant who sends an electronic request to the company through depository for confirmation of dematerialization. After necessary verification of documents by the company, the confirmation is sent to depository for dematerialization. The depository confirms the same to the depository participant who credits the investor's account with the requisite number of shares. It makes use of electronic record keeping tools in order to keep track of all types of financial transactions. The range of documents that can be effectively managed with software applications include just about everything from basic accounting records to stock certificates. A mutual fund is a professionally managed type of collective investment scheme that pools money from many investors and invests typically in investment securities. The structure of mutual funds in India is governed by SEBI. Association of Mutual Funds in India was incorporated in 1995. Its main objective is to promote the interest of mutual funds, to increase public awareness of mutual fund industry. Banks keep record of transactions on behalf of the customer investing in mutual funds and also provide buying and selling facility for customers. Whenever an investor wants to sell out his share of mutual funds, he informs the bank and bank sells his mutual funds and transfers the money in his account. Net Asset Value NAV, is the market value of securities held by the scheme minus its liabilities. The per unit NAV is the net asset value of the scheme divided by the number of units outstanding on the valuation date. Open-ended scheme is the one that is available for subscription and repurchase on a continuous basis. Close-ended scheme has a stipulated maturity period, x for example, 5 to 7 years. The fund is open for subscription only during a specific period at the time of launch of the scheme. The aim of growth fund is to provide capital appreciation over medium to long term. The aim of income oriented funds is to provide regular and steady income to investors. The investment is generally in fixed income securities such as bonds, corporate debentures, government securities and money market instruments. The aim of balanced funds is to provide both government and regular income as such schemes invest both in equities and fixed income securities in the proportion indicated in the offer document. Money market or liquid fund schemes invest exclusively in safer short term instruments such as T-bills. Certificate of Deposits Index Fund seek to replicate the returns generated by an index. Guild Fund invests exclusively in government securities. NAV of these schemes fluctuate due to change in interest rates and other economic factors.
Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Banking companies and FIs need not collect any service tax on service provided to state government and central government in relation to collection of any duties or taxes. Right or wrong? Right. Making the account inquiries on phone any time of the day is called net banking. Right or wrong? Wrong. Dematerialization is a process by which the paper share certificate of an investor are surrendered to the company or register. Registrar. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. A mutual fund is a company that brings together money from many people and invests it in stocks, bonds or other assets. Service tax is a form of indirect tax imposed on specified services called taxable services. The tax collected shall be paid by the 15th of the next month in which the tax is collected. In case the due date is holiday, the tax is to be paid to the government on the next day. A person who is outside India but withdraws from an account in India will pay BCTT. But a person in India who withdraws from an account outside India will not pay BCTT. 24-hour banking is a self-service banking extending beyond normal banking hours by obtaining cash, making deposits and transferring money between accounts at automated teller machines. A mutual fund is a professionally managed type of collective investment scheme that pools money from many investors and invests, typically in investment securities. Dematerialization is a process by which the paper share certificate of an investor are surrendered to the company or registrar and actually destroyed and an equivalent number of securities are credited in electronic holdings of that investor. Guilt fund is a mutual fund that invests in several different types of medium and long term government securities in addition to top quality corporate debt.